Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this panel stack transition effect in a very simple and easy way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag each one of the video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So now I want the transition to happen between these two videos at this point here. So in order to do that, let me bring the second video onto the top of the first video and move it to the left for around 2-3 to three seconds. Let me zoom in a bit just so that we can see. So this is from 10 to you know 12 seconds here so what i'll do is i'll go to the last frame here and i'll simply cut this video using this razor tool here so we'll be applying our transition effect to this specific layer so the first thing that you'll have to do is go to the effects panel and simply type in transform and you have this transform effect in this dot folder and drag this transform effect onto our this video like this so what you'll have to do now is go to the transform settings and make sure you're at the last frame of this specific layer and uh, set the keyframe for the position at this point here now you can see that a keyframe is created at this point you see it here and go to the first frame of our video so at this point i'll change the position value in such a way that it moves outside our composition layer or our sequence just like this so our video is moved outside and if i start playing this video this is how it enters perfect but you want this to be very smooth and it has to look as if it is sliding in so in order to fix that what you'll do you'll have to right click on this second keyframe or the last keyframe and go to temporal interpolation and change this to ease e, ease in so if i play this this is how it slides in but you also want it to slide in you know very very smoothly so what you'll have to do now is ex expand this position parameters here and you can notice that you have this graph here let me just move this one frame inside okay so you have a graph for the position here simply drag the right and right end corner and move it to the left just so that a spike is created in the beginning so now if I start playing the video, this is how it slides in and this is what we want. So now we want the panel to be, you know, sliding in in such a way that it is in the form of some panel stack. So in order to do that, right click on your video here and click on this nest option and then name this to panel stack hit ok so now um, I'll go to the FX panel and simply type echo so we'll be using this echo effect from the time folder here and I'll drag this onto my video just like this so once you add this if you start playing the video this is how it's gonna slide in but let us tweak the values of the echo here so at the last frame of this video click on this timer button here or toggle animation button here for the echo time set the value to zero and i'll hit up arrow so that it goes to the first frame here and i'll simply change the echo time value to negative 0.1 okay and i'll change the number of echoes to five okay and if i start playing the video now it looks something like this you can see that this there is this lot of you know color and you know leakage that you can see here so in order to fix that i'll change the echo operator to composite in back okay 
and if I start playing this, this is how the panel stacks slide in. One more thing that you can do to differentiate between these, you know, between these frames is that you can go to the FX panel and type in radial shadow and you have this radial shadow effect drag this onto our video as well one thing that you'll have to do now is ensure that the this radial shadow effect is on top of our echo effect just so that you can differentiate this quite well and i'll change the opacity to 20 or 25 would do our job this looks good you can also tweak the projection distance if you want to increase or decrease the you know for me this 5 um, looks good and if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna slide in perfect so this is how you make a you know a panel stack transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on instagram at vfxguyravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial